Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday, and uh, first off, I'm not wearing my 600 hat, but for any reason except that I have a couple, I'm probably going to get some more. <laughs> I'm not wearing it for that. <clears throat> I want to commend our viewers on giving you opinions on your hair. I think today looks, I liked yesterday's better, but everybody seemed to uh, say cut it. I think only me and Michael McBride said that we liked your hair. Everybody else said cut it. Well, they get, you, you gotta realize, it. well, people who watch it know I don't wear my hair like that anyway. I can wear this spiked up. <clears throat> Took about, yay much off. It just, I got a cowlick back here that's just hard to deal with and my hair's <clears throat> coarse. Like I said, they took a pile of hair out right here, this 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 big, trying to get it to, to lay down, and it, it just didn't happen. work. Well, and it's you know getting gray, and that's a little more coarse. I wish. All right, let's just go with that. I want my beard's gray. Pretty. It's uh, it's oh man, it's right <clears> there. And I want my hair to go gray. I want it that Sam Elliott look. And it's going. I really think it's going. The top of my hair, Stephanie sees it when I pull my hair back. But I don't dye it. I don't do none of that Dude, shit. Dude, your hair, your your hair itself will be a long time. Man, why? I mean, I want it to be gray. I just think that's a Sam Elliott had that look, and I want that. You got to work on your voice, though. Yeah, I don't have that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but I, I want it to be gray. But it ain't gonna happen. For a while. Mon uh, tomorrow well, is the, the women are wanting their hair gray now. That's the style. Stephanie's, Stephanie's got is, hers. That doesn't matter. Her chair, she'll be a different color tomorrow. Well, I know that, but that's kind of the hot color. I don't even know what that is. I see, I've been in style a while. I mean, you have they're finally style. catching, they're up, catching up to you. Tomorrow is March the 1st. And we almost have, we have uh, A&P Maintenance, Russell Fight will be up here. We got Elysium Cryotherapy and Elysium Fitness Center. We got Shane Christianson and uh, Kevin with uh, C-I-I-T-S-M-Y, whatever mm -hmm. that is, whatever that is. And we got uh, uh, Alan Sanders. And isn't Aaron Bird doing something? I have, I'm waiting on Aaron. Aaron, yeah. tomorrow, your logo. Come on, come on, man. Send me, send me and Chris the deal. Well, what do we got to do? What do we got to do? So tomorrow, I'm going to, after the show, be going and collecting money. And it reminds me of our days of when we used to hopefully know law enforcement were watching. I think it's just a misdemeanor now. Of when we used to be bookies. In our when lifetime, we used to be bookies. In our lifetime, we have done many a things. Yeah. And one of our things was we were bookies. And... As you could see, I can get you set up with somebody still. Yes, he can. If you watch. As you I can mean, see, it worked like this. Chris took the calls because now everything's com computer. Chris would take the calls. I'd go get the money. Problem is, everybody liked me. I could get paid. <laughs> but when Chris went with me, there was one incident. Now, I'm not going to say where we were, but this guy was sitting down. Happen to have a tennis racket. I'm not proud of this. Happen to have a tennis racket right here. And I, we both walked in and I said, hey, you owe X amount of dollars. And he had owed it for a while. Yep. And the problem was, it wasn't in, I don't have it, I will get it to you. It was the comment he made that allowed Chris to grab the butt end of the racket, which, state champion, and calmly slide it and hit him right here across the nose with that. Right under the nose and top of it. Busted his lip. If there was a hillbilly Goodfellas, that was it right there. That was us. And I went like <clears> this. Oh, <throat> wait, let's go. Come on. I, but now, the moral of the story is what? We got paid. And about a year ago, yeah. Yeah. you run into this young I guy. I did run into him. And he went, Tell Chris thank you. He sure did. I never gambled another day in my life. He, that's exactly right. Or it probably would have happened to him again. <laughs> but I was just thinking last night of, <clears throat> while I was waiting, Stephanie went and got another tattoo and finished up one. So she didn't get home to like 11, like I told you, 11.50. And I was just thinking of the things we have done. And there's, there's 
My nose is itching. What's that mean? And there's people out there that have stories like we do as buddies. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I want to know some of those stories. You know, what's Shane and, and, and his buddy or Aaron and his buddy, Jason and his buddy. What, what or are people that we know that, that, that we don't know that watch the show? Yeah, what are... <clears throat> don't have to get graphic. I we we to... worked in five or six different states working on mobile homes. Yes. You have slid off mobile homes. You have shot yourself with a pin nailer right there. In the head. So it had it backwards. Uh, I, I can go on and on. Losing all our money in Shreveport and having to call my dad to wire us more that we lost immediately. I have wrecked made your home. passport <clears throat> twice. After I told him to watch out for that pole. And not uh, to do the basket trick. Remember that one? Yeah. So what are some of your stories with your buddy, your wife, or whatever that it's like, oh, my God, I cannot believe. And I, and I know if my dad's watching, he's like, y'all did what? You was what? I, I think I did tell him, but he'll probably not remember that. So and I want to give a shout out to my hometown, Chillicothe. Go ahead. Celeste Little Creek. Who? Celeste Little Creek. She was, her and Calvin were my first softball coaches. Okay. Taught me left-handed how to hit opposite field. I went on to great things. They knew it. Is there Indian with him? I mean, is yeah, that a, I think a Indian Calvin's name? some Indian. That's cool. He's some Indian. So, my dad, I told you, truck caught on fire, burned up, did all the stuff. Well, the town gets together, raises, I hope they already gave it to him, raised the money through the bake sale and stuff, and was going to buy him a new trailer. Five by ten so he could put his lawnmower on it because he does so much mowing around town. And the day before, he goes and buys a five by eight trailer because he don't know what's happening. And so Les sends me a deal. Mr. Impatient. And I went, that's where I got it. Mr. Impatient there. But they still raised the money, got him some weed eaters and stuff because he does a lot of mowing. That's what he but big shout out to Celeste Little Creek and the whole... Chillicothe Town are taking care of my pop. I love it. Appreciate that. <clears throat> and speaking of that, yesterday we were talking, me, myself, Brian, and Rex. I was not in there. And we did the West First Benefit. Right. Seventy. What was it three years ago? Four? Three? Whatever. Well, that. $72,000. I thought it was 77. No. 72. Okay. Shane would know. That, that we raised in two days with the help of Melody Ranch, Shane, Jack Schrader, uh, Brian and I, and also, uh, give me one second. I'll come up with a minute. Brian's a new guitar player. Jeremy? Nope. Mark Played Davis. with Guilty. Maxwell? No. I'll think of it in a minute. Anyway, hey, raised $72,000. And the feeling we got Cody of doing Flowers? that. <laughs> okay. The feeling we got of doing that was amazing. <clears throat> So I had come up with the idea that we ought to do that once a year and start a fund that pays all the bands every time they do a fundraiser. I like that. Because they get hit up weekly. I agree hey, with that. Hey, there's a benefit, there's a fundraiser, we will your band come play. come play for free? Yeah. And you're a dick if you say no. You're right. Yeah. But you never get paid. So I wanted to create this fund that they would have to submit, we're playing the whatever, and you don't, you, if they made 500 bucks on a normal night, they'd get 250. Right. <clears throat> to where that would last. So does that mean JD's gonna do a bunch of fundraisers now? Yes. JD can't do but, a bunch yeah, of But there'll be a limit to it. But like we're not idea. gonna do that. Oh. It, it, that kind of fell through, but the backyard is going to pick a date and have a fundraiser every year that goes to something like CASA. Like it. Or uh, children's Hospital. I like it. Or something like that. Feeding the Hungry. Yeah. A different charity every year. Not just lock into one charity. Maybe Fuzzy Friends one year. Get, oh, I mean, you know, I mean, it, uh, not going to lock into one charity, but we're going we're gonna to put I that like together and we'll probably do it this, this year. Giving back to the community. <clears throat> we do a Christmas family every year. Uh, sometimes we filmed it at the studio and we enjoyed it. Sometimes we do it uh, without you guys knowing because they don't want nobody to know but since we've been back since 2008 we always do a christmas family and i like the idea of giving back to your community somehow helping somebody that that 
truly deserves it, man. And the one thing that Mr. Impatient has no problem doing is asking. Oh, yeah, I don't mind that. We uh, had two kids that, uh, Morgan, she's probably listening because they're all riding to Houston. Shout, shout out to out Rhonda. To Rhonda. Good. Safe travels. Good results, hopefully. Good results. And get my woman back to me. And my car. Kind of scared. Anyway. I'll get the car back. Anyway. <clears throat> did a couple kids in this program that she's in. And when we got to Walmart, we, you know, Xbox and TV and all this stuff. And the manager, who we've done stuff with. Mr. Jimmy. Just gave us the clothes. Gave us the clothes. Because you have no problem going, hey, man, what can y'all do for us? Yeah. And they were going to give us some gift certificates, but they ran out of their allotment. But Jimmy... I don't know if you watch. You He's the manager in, at the Walmart in Hillsboro. Shout out to you. You've always done it. He's given us bicycles before and all kind of stuff. So hats off to you, buddy. It makes a difference, man. I know you guys, This is we went, we went from turn from us being bookies to us being to everybody giving away. If that away. doesn't say we don't do it all. <laughs> <clears throat> but it makes a difference in people's lives when you're able to help them, when you're able. I don't have to be money, man. It could actually be moving, but don't call me because I have done plenty of that. Take it's that. just a deal. American uh, Heart Association, the children's part of it, oh. uh, CareNet, all these videos that we shoot because I don't have 5000 to donate. Right. So totally we'll, we'll shoot their promo video. and uh, MDA, every year we, we film the walk for film them. We cut it in a video, and it makes you feel good. I totally agree. So get off your high knees and do Son something. Of, uh, <clears throat> now I don't want to even charge these people for being sponsors, but I am. I'm going to get back in my collection. Fact, it might have went up to 200 I don't know. We'll talk about that later. Well, we're fixing to get out of here. We're going to go find Chris's tennis racket because we might have to beat Shane to get that $100. Maybe. No, he already paid. Woo! Shane, I take everything back but a few things that I say. Well, I mean, they owe us $5, but oh, it's $5. Oh, my God. Let's I mean, not worry about that. We're going to leave the S off. Yeah. Sit. Just sit and take Ubu, it. Ubu, sit. All right, man. Have a wonderful day. And <clears throat> what's uh, what's coming up this weekend? Tell us your stories, though. Your buddy story. I want to know your, your ride or story. die story. All that good stuff. What's coming up this weekend? Uh, right? Who's your brothers in Phoenix Theory? We Ooh. got uh, spring break starting, so we went with local. If you hadn't seen the Who's Your Brothers and you like to dance, I like to dance. Come on out. If you hadn't seen Phoenix Theory and you like to dance, come on out. And the last two weekends have been beautiful. Really, the weather popping too. down there. Play yeah. that funky music. I watched The Voice last night. I'm back. I'm hooked. Uh -oh. Woo! I'm gonna be giving y'all results. I'm also gonna do a singing and see if Chris will turn a chair one day this week. I'm not just kidding. Until tomorrow, watch, like, and share. I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out.